What's the difference between DHEA and DHA? Two different things. DHEA is dihydroepiandrosterone and DHA is docoxahexoic acid. And they serve two distinct roles in fertility support. But their combined use for poor responders lacks direct clinical evidence. So DHEA has been used in poor responders. And there are reports that may suggest that it improves the follicle count. How does it act? It acts as a pre-hormone for testosterone and is chosen synthesis, potentially enhancing follicular development and the IGF-1 activity. How good is it? Some randomized controlled trials reported a higher birth rates and improved embryo quality and reduced miscarriage. If you look at bigger trials, they may indicate a higher antral follicle count, reduced gonadotrophin doses, but they're all mixed and several studies show no significant improvements in oocyte yield or pregnancy rates. Does it increase androgens? They elevate androgen levels, risking side effects like acne, hair loss, which tend to be common. It is contraindicated in polycystic ovarian syndrome and you should not be using it. Now let's look at DHA for fertility and omega Three fatty acid, its role is it supports egg quality and reduces inflammation. Safety, no androgenic effects, recommends pre, recommended preconception and during pregnancy, and so it can still be used. Combined use again, if you combine DHA and omega-3 fatty acids, there's no evidence that it works. If you look at combining DHA and DHA co-administration, they are independent, hormonal and anti-inflammatory, and while DHA can give you androgenic side effects, DHA does not worsen it. So key consideration, if you're planning to use DHA, you're using it mainly for an anti-inflammatory effect. And it may complement, but again, clinical validation is absent.